right, welcome to the Encounter Podcast. I am your host, Minister Marcus. You can find me on all of my social media platforms at underscore Minister Marcus. If you look for me on Facebook, you can just look up Marcus Stewart at underscore Minister Marcus. All right, my logo is an M, so you can't miss it. All right, and so tonight, my co host Antoine is not going to be with us tonight. I got a, a special guest for y'all, and I was really looking forward to this just because she's a woman, and uh, you know, it's a different perspective. So, I want to introduce to my podcast platform audience Miss Joyce Smith. I call her Miss, but I'm probably going to just be calling her uh, Miss Smith. Uh, just, what, what would you prefer? It, either one is fine. Joyce is fine. Joyce okay, is fine. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So, so tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you're a poet. I know you do ministry. I know you. Uh, I, I I know you're a playwright. Um, you just told me you you have a novel. Like you yeah. a plethora. Like what, what, what? Tell us about yourself. I mean, that kind of sums it almost. You know, up uh, pretty much. Just you know, I'm a writer. Um, I'm in education. I used to be a teacher. Now I train um, leaders okay. and educators. Right. And so, yeah, I'm a playwright. I do have a book out um, that I just um, recently put out. Um, I mean, it's not really that much more to tell. You know, I am, I'm a minister. I, I used to do spoken word, but I stopped doing spoken word. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I stopped mm. doing spoken word. And um, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm in school studying uh, ministry leadership. Okay. That's it. Just... Staying busy, not by choice, but I feel you. I feel you. That that idle time, you always gonna find yourself in some trouble if you stay mm-hmm. idle too long. If you like me, I got to stay moving, otherwise I'll be moving in the wrong stuff. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm not gonna move in the wrong direction action wise, but my thoughts will. <laughs> I'm an, I used to be an overthinker. I've gotten better, but I'll spin a tail. Oh, in my head. Oh yeah. Ah, see, that's what I'm talking about right there. You know what? Most women do that though. Most women yeah. do that. And and you know and it's it's not it's not nothing bad because sometimes I you know I I overthink a lot of stuff right. all the time. So look, tell us about your novel. What's your novel about? It's one of those graphic no, novels. My novel is called Daddy Syndrome. Oh. And man, believe it or not, this novel's oh goodness, probably over ten years. See, that's that delayed you know obedience type thing, and just oh, yeah, trying gotcha. to work through the process. But it's a fiction novel. Um, okay. I always, it's always so interesting because I've I've actually had people say. That they have a hard time reconciling, you know, the minister, elder Joyce with the writer. And I'm like, well, now hold on now, because nothing I write should just like really take you there. Right. I'll cause you to question, you know, my walk. But right. I think what it is is that the reality of the world that I lived in in education, like, you know, um, high crime, high poverty. You, right, right, right. You <laughs> could give me one of those crossbody purses because if I leave oh, wow. out my class, we could be running like it goes down like that. Wow. <laughs> okay. And so the book actually was inspired by a student that I had that never came to class. And I call her name and they say, I always say she's working. She's working. And so I'm from Louisiana. I used to teach in New Orleans. And okay, I know the that. reality that the kids would leave work early, or leave school early to go to work. Wow. So I thought, you know, and I said, well, you need to tell her she needs to come to class unless she wants to have that, you know, McDonald's job out of her life, whatever. You know, <laughs> what, what grade was this? Um, what grade? What grade was this? Uh, I want to say she's 10th, 10th grade. 10th grade? Yep, 10th grade. And so the next day, I got so used to this young lady coming. I didn't even call her name on the road. She had never shown up, which was wow. the end of the school year. But apparently she was at school every day. But that's common. That's the reality of the type of environments that I used to teach in. And um, I called the roll and I was explaining to the kids what to do next. Like I skipped right on over her name. Miss, you were looking for me. And I look up and she slouched down, you know, attitude. Oh, Lord. Like, yeah. you know, Mama, I can give as good as I can get. Don't get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, who are you? And she told me her name or whatever. And I was like, oh, well, where do you work? So I heard one of the kids say behind the building. And I'm like, what? Behind the building. She was like, yes, yeah, sure do. And I have them lined up. And I and if you mess with me, I'll take your girl. And uh, so basically behind oh, she was me, a she was like she was a a, a okay for lack of better words, a it's, prostitute. Pretty she was much. selling crack. But I don't know if she was necessarily <laughs> getting paid for it. 
because believe it or not, in my experience in education, it's so, it wasn't so much about the, um, a lot of times it wasn't about the money. Now, yes, I do have a background with working with human trafficking. So there's a lot of high school traffickers. You have a lot of students that yes. traffic, oh yeah, that traffic each other. I don't think that was her story though. And at the time I wasn't in trafficking to even know if that was, I think it could have been trauma-based, right? Yeah. Just have this response to acting out. I kind of want to control what I want to control. She was in a gang. She was probably like 90 pounds. Like she was like a oh, small. Yeah. Okay, okay. Stayed in fights, fighting cops that were six five. Like she was into Dang. a whole right. So, so wait, so the novel, so the novel it goes into what the psychology of that or like well, it was what happened was she was sharing her story with another classmate about her initiation into the game. And she didn't get jumped in. She had another type of initiation. I don't want to give it all away. But mm. while they were there doing their work, literally this story started spinning. And I started writing. Yeah. And so I took the liberty of framing the world around a young girl who um, had never met her father because the mom had all of these father wounds. That's oh, got her you. father leaving. And so because I would always hear stuff, you know, like I wouldn't spit on my dad if he was on fire. You're not hear the, you know, the kids say things like that. Right. And so I would hear about a lot of men that were trying, but the women were bitter. So this particular book right. is not the bash the man kind of thing. Right. It's like put your big girl panties on if he's yeah. trying and allow him to parent because you don't understand, you okay. know. Um, so, so see, that's what that's that's what I was that's what I was leading that that's why I was kind of leading that question because like is this like the uh what what do you say the name was again daddy syndrome right daddy syndrome so when I hear that I immediately think of trigger female I automatically think of like oh this finna be like woman I'm woman hear me uh -huh. roar kind of book mm -hmm. but no okay okay that's that's refreshing mm -hmm. to hear that it's real it's real refreshing to hear that that's mm -hmm. that's good that's good that's yeah real no, good. No, no, no. it it really does. It tears the um, tears the uh, what do you call it D down the the stigmas attached to it's always the man fault oh, you know, oh. kind of thing because let's just keep it real like I have a, um, my daughter's father and I we have a great relationship um, we always had you have a little bit of things here or there but I would not allow myself to be bitter I would not allow myself to um, you know to, to to allow confusion and things like that to step into place he's he's married um, she has a great relationship with her stepmom and to me she has always been the center you understand what I'm saying You're everyone right. doesn't have that level of maturity now let me oops, look here so listen <laughs> it may have been a little easier for me to do that because there was not as much emotions tangled in because you know how you yeah. have a relationship it ends poorly it's hard for you to be mature sometimes right right not as much how long, as how, long, hold on, hold on. How, how long did it take for you to uh -huh. get to the point where you was like really okay with it, like when y'all broke up, were you bitter? Were you? So upset? listen, so that's what I'm talking. Look, since you asked me, have y'all here? Tell yeah, them. Come I on, yeah, let's go. That's a, do you know? You know? You know what the I'm? I'm here to ask so, questions. You know what I'm saying? That's why so I said I, I can't say it from this point of superiority because that was never. It was more of a rebound relationship. So he oh, was okay, he you. was in the process of um getting over a divorce, right? Okay. I was in the process of a broken engagement, right? Oh yeah, and okay. So it was almost kind of like, okay, these hurt people that were connecting over their trauma. So gotcha. when it was like, oh, I think we should be better as friends. So there wasn't as much of this, you horrible person, or you this, that, you know what I'm saying? There wasn't a yeah. lot of angst right, and right. Business there between us. So it wasn't as easy. I mean, yeah, it wasn't okay. as difficult, rather, right, for me to make sure that my daughter stayed the focal point. Mm -hmm, so that's mm -hmm. why I'm not, I don't take it lightly that it's not always the easiest thing. You understand what I'm okay. saying? So women that have been in long relationships or they felt like they were misused or things of that sort. But at the end of the day, I'm not trying to be ugly, but I don't really care because <laughs> you right. are the person that is the guardian of that child. At, you right. understand what I'm saying? And if you right. don't stop it, the cycle continues. And that's literally what daddy syndrome is about. I we got you. Layers. We even get the guy's perspective to see what it's like as a black man, you know, trying to be present, right? Yeah, that's in your book. Mm hmm. Oh man, that's that's okay. So so you know what? So I I I I've started to incorporate having women on the sh on the show just because I like to hear the female perspective, right? And I, I ask questions, you know. So it's me and my brother, the Stewart brothers. We do this podcast, but it's really my show. 
but <laughs> to have the women on here to get their perspective right um um that's one of the reasons why i had you on and i didn't know that you had just put out a novel mm -hmm. basically talking about some of the stuff that i go into mm -hmm. uh on the podcast anyway so no, i think man i think that's i think this i think it's an awesome thing so yeah. so look um now look, if I ask a question that you don't want air, just uh -oh. tell me I can I can look, I can edit it out. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm gonna yeah, ask no, all no. the questions that I that I want that I feel like oh, I want to okay. ask. All right. Okay. And, <laughs> all right. So with that, so this is this is first. Okay. So you're not married. Right. Okay. How have you ever been married? Have not. Never been married? Never been married. Okay. Long term relationship. Yes. Okay, how long has it been since you've been in a long-term relationship? Oh my gosh, what is this? 2014. 20? <laughs> it's 2020. It's so, yeah, so it's 20. Okay, oh look at that. That tell you right there. <laughs> so probably about 10 years. Like a really serious, committed relationship somewhere around that time frame. Um, goodness gracious, because I, my daughter's 22, right? Oh, and yeah, okay, okay. Yes, my daughter's 22. So probably around middle school is when um the last very seri last serious relationship that I uh, had we so broke you, up. So that's so gonna you just be having happen. you just been having like friends with benefits, you've been having like little side dudes in the corner, like you know, if that's too far, I mean hey, that that ain't none of my business, but hey, I mean you own, so I might as well ask. Honestly, right? the majority of the experience has been you trying to see whether or not I'm going to find someone that matched or fit. So it may be like a, a date here or a telephone conversation there. But honestly, nothing really, um, nothing really major, nothing really serious. I got into two I should have known better. Oh, yeah. Okay. Two I should have known better. Yeah, you're right. Well, you did know better. And you just, you kind of well, wanted it to be yeah, some yeah, extra. Yeah. But nah. you know how we can have that. Yeah, right. uh, that tendency to try, I'm gonna see the good, you know what I'm saying, in this person, mm -hmm. or I'm gonna try to make this this work, or um, well, you know that what? Like I think I was like mid thirties. I'm like, come on, baby, what? I need I need you to know better by this time. By the time you get to this age, come, <laughs> come hey, on, hold on, let's go into that though. So, oh, so when you oh, say you should know better, what what would what was the what were the signs? Because look, the topic for tonight is is as expectations in relations, right? right. Mm. So. What was the uh what is you say you should have known better? What was the um you know what was the issue that you should have known? Because I'm thinking this you meet somebody so let's, talk like them. let's talk about that word expectations. Had I had a higher standard of expectations in terms of how I desired because I'm such a laid back, easygoing person, right? Okay. So I'm I'm not you know glitz glamour. My love language is acts of service, right? Both giving okay. and receiving. And so I'm, I'm not, oh, you don't have to wine and dine me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you, know, you don't necessarily have to be all up in my face. However, I do need to know that there's an interest and that the energy is the same, right? But right. Over, let me tell you, social media will do a little bit with you. But this was before social media got to popping, got right? Hot. Yeah, yeah, right, right, but right. when I look at it now, right, and I think back, I'm like, wow, you know, these expectations, I believe, should have been a little bit higher. So if I had an expectation in terms of how I wanted to be treated or the time that that I wanted because it wasn't like they treated me poorly. It's not that, but you can go back and look and say, "Well, how much time did you all really spend? What did that time look like?" Right? You understand what I'm oh, saying? Oh, I got you. I got there you. you. Yeah, go. I got you. I, I got you. Like, hold on, you know, hold on, because I have you know good guy friends. Like, um, uh, ma'am, why are you you hungry? So who are you finna call to bring you some food? I'm like, it's what I mean. Bring it's ten. I wouldn't want to wake somebody. He's like, you don't think he gonna get up to come and bring you some food? If he doesn't get up to bring you something, then that'll tell you right then and that he's not interested. You know, uh, come on, you. you. You uh, see what I'm saying? You. But in my mind, no, that's okay. You know, I'm not going to to you know take it to that. Shit. So really, no expectation. There you go. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, there you go. And I think a lot of that had to do, which is what my when I my uh, um, friend was like, okay, you know what? Tell me about that relationship with your father. How did he treat you? Were you spoiled? Ooh. Did he do Ooh. something? I'm like, we're not going to have this conversation. Hey. That's not right. You know how we get. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, that's deep, though. That's deep. That's deep. Because I, I think this, and this is my philosophy. I think that the, the your, your parent relationships, man or woman, that has a lot to do with every other relationship that you have, especially right. your interpersonal relationships. So, right. like, when you say that, 
I right. think it's a the, the main and major connection is does she have a relationship with her dad and what does that relationship mm-hmm. look like? Mm-hmm. And that will have a lot to do with the guys that she choose and how she treat the guys. And so, and so what I'm hearing from you is basically like, so this guy, you didn't have expectations to the extent to where he um would basically like do things for you. Yeah, is that like nice. show attention, show that he was interested? Absolutely, I, I could. And what kind? So, what kind of attention was he giving you? He was just trying to get it in when he wanted to, or no, no, we would go, we would listen. Okay, so come on, let's go. Because <laughs> if I really had to really think back, um, so this is after the the, the serious relationship. I would say we would we would talk on the phone, great conversation, laugh all the time, which to me was amazing because um the 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 relationship I got out was so intense. You understand what I'm saying? Like it was serious. Oh, gotcha. A lot of um, you know, like instead of us being a team, right? Like pulling in opposite directions. So this was a really mm. lighthearted. It mm-hmm. doesn't hurt the that he was also very visually ap- appealing. So you mm-hmm. would think, like, "Ooh, girl, he, it's always he, good. He, it's he, always he, good to have a nice look." I mean, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, no, I'm no, sorry. I know, I'm but you sorry. know, come on. It need to be inside <laughs> out. It need to be inside out. I got you. Came, I got you. Yeah, I got you. He came to watch um, television one night, and she's got a knock on her door. Okay, I'm like, wait, wait, go oh, listen. Yeah. Right there, right there. <laughs> So I'm like, mm, what? No, wait, no, 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 no. Let me back up. It was the text. The well, the knock was the ex. The text, uh, this is all. Oh, Yodo, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, my knock on Yodo. You heard what I said. Come on. Said. So wait, knock hold on, hold on. on my door. It was my ex. Okay, the so guy that you? I broke up with that just broke oh, up. With. Oh no. Oh, I thought it was his ex. But no, it's wait, your ex. Coming to my knock on ex Yodo. Knocked on the knocked on the door. I got oh. nervous. So I opened the door. Oh, you didn't oh, you put the sauce on him. He missing the sauce. But I'm like, we're not together. The guy right. that wasn't doing anything. We were just sitting watching television. Okay, okay, and okay. I feel like in order for me to show this guy that it wasn't nothing undercover, let me go and open the door so we can have this conversation in front of him so he would know, you understand what I'm saying, that I yeah. was not, you know, still dealing with him. I yeah. think he was still, he may have still wanted to get back together, so he was hurt. And he You're just right. you know, was coming by the chat. I don't know. Talk about it. I don't know what the whole deal was. So after we dealt with that situation, I don't think it was got to be like five minutes later, I get a text message. I'm downstairs. Is he with you? I'm like, wait, what? The, this was the girl that I knew that he was dealing with. Was downstairs. Literally. <laughs> was oh downstairs. My God. Family was downstairs. My apartment, she was like, Kim, you come outside so we can talk. So I said, I'll be right back. And I went downstairs and we had a conversation in the car. And that's how I knew that he was dealing with both of us. Oh, my God. So this happened on the same night. The same night your ex come, the girl he messing with shows up. Was living with. Was living with. Let me tell you. Listen, what innocent. She, she wasn't think. plexed up, she wasn't like be like no, 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 not at all. I think she was a little bit more disappointed, a little bit uh, more hurt. Um, you know, kind of just like I, you know, she was also kind of confused. Yeah, like I, you know, I, I wouldn't I wasn't expecting this. Um, yeah. but you ain't heard the 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 amazing part, and I've briefly shared this before. I, I, they probably gonna judge me, I don't care. But it's good. Yeah, we ain't putting no names out there. We ain't putting no names. Just like scenario. That, I'm ready to tell you. So um, I was mid thirties, right? Should have yeah. known better. But okay, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So wait, so you knew that he was talking to somebody else while y'all were talking. You didn't know either. So this, I, not, this, I had suspicions, and I asked, "Oh no, this person is just a friend. This just person is just a friend." Um. So I've been ministering to her. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Helping her to understand. Look, exegete the text. <laughs> no way. Now, let me say something to you. Can we go? I pull that Bible out right quick. Believe away. all of that. You know how you don't believe it, but you want to believe it. Yeah, right. Right, right, right. Slow by any means. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But I did believe. Okay, that there's just probably a friendship, or that um she latched maybe onto him because she had a really tough living situation, and so he was there and supportive. And sometimes women can tend to take the kindness and generosity of a guy 
a little farther than what they may be intending, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, right. Because remember, I told you I'm an overthinker and I want this to work. So I'm trying to make you, trying to make you feel. Let me tell you yeah. something. Here's, here's the part that is just like amazing to me. And I know that we are not talking church. So while all of this was going on, your girl was in class, minister's training class. You heard exactly what I said. In ministry class. Oh my God. Yes. About to be engaged, engaged, right? To the guy that um the ex was engaged with him. I'm like, okay, this this is you know, it's too contentious. Broke yeah. so he is too contentious. The other guy and I, we were just cool, we were just friends. But he provided that likeness. And so I'm like, right. you know what? There are so many other people that I can find that out here to, to get to know and not have to deal with all of this that's going on right here. So I broke up with him oh, so okay. that I could legitimately get to know the other person. Oh, you trying to be a, you trying to be an honest, genuine. OK, you trying to be straightforward, like, you know what I'm saying? OK, OK, OK. Good. In ministry class. Saturday morning at eight o'clock every Saturday, and he's somebody knocking on my door. No, yes, no, yes, yes. no, yes. I'm like, wow, Joyce, wow. Yeah, so look, so look, so so with that, you know, with that said, <clears throat> I'm gonna just go ahead and ask the question: when when a woman like deals with a guy, like when she meets a guy, or like let's say. Um, like guys don't do it too much no more where they go up to and talk. So I'm like the type, like, if I like you, I'm gonna shoot my shot. Right. It is what it is. All you can say is no. But like, so when when he does that, like what what do you expect? Like, not expect, I don't want to use that word expectation, but we are talking expectations. But what are you thinking in your mind as far as does he have this? Does he have do you have a checklist or do mm -hmm. like when he comes up to you, are y'all just like Oh, he's cute. Oh, he's nice. So y'all kind of in the moment type of thing. You know what I'm saying? You get me my personally or women in general. Like, my thoughts on women in general. Give me I mean, both. Give me both. Like you, okay. you personally, and uh, you know, you're a woman, so you know how most women think, right? So mm -hmm. you personally, what are you, how are you handling that? And then most women, when they see that, like how they, how they, uh. So that kind of goes back to that expectation thing, right? So right. I've always been of the mindset that I'm going to be able to always take care of me. So it never really was a thing for me, like it is for a lot of people where they try to figure out, let me try to figure out what kind of money he working with. Let me see, right. what kind of, you know, because in the, the mind, they start beginning to calculate, right? Right. Their wallet. That was never a thing for me because I always knew that any person I connected with, we're going to be fine because Joyce is oh, right. going to be fine, right? Because I'm right. a person, I like a man that has a vision and we're going to grow and we're going to build and we're going to move from there. So that has never been my thing. I don't think even I'm working on my doctorate now, but I want to say that most of the people, uh, most of the guys that I've dated have just been like blue collar workers, um, yeah. not necessarily... Um, um, degreed, but they may have been business owners. They may have, you know, something that I could yeah. see that there was growth and vision there. So that has always been my thing. Um, now, as I'm, I'm older and as I'm ready to kind of transition a little bit out of uh, education, I'm thinking more towards what will that look like so that I can begin to move in some of the other money making things that I want to do. Right. Mm -hmm. So I may think about, OK, let's see what this potential looks like. But it's still the potential to build and grow, not necessarily. Oh, he makes six figure type thing. You understand what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. that's always me. And I believe that I'm a little different than most women in that area. Because okay. I've been told, because even when I was um, even when there was this whole battle between um those two guys and him wanting to the ex thinking about getting back and me like mm -mm, I'm over here with eye candy, you know. I'm yeah. <laughs> All right. One of my um, mom's friends, so that tells you she was definitely a good bit older than me. Was like, no, no, you need to definitely go. You know, with the ex, he's more stable. He got a job. He got this. He got that. You see what I'm saying? And I'm yeah. thinking, about, okay, well, I like this person. He makes me laugh. We can build that together. I'm not even yeah. worried about it. Now, she was right, okay? <laughs> All right. Was, but not in terms of just economic status and stuff like that. Yeah, right. Okay, okay, but, yeah. But just in terms of just, you know, um, looking at he loves you to death. You know, this is somebody that would do anything for you. That's kind of where she 
what's going with it. So it's, okay. it's, a, it's a wisdom and an age thing, I think. It's a wisdom and an age thing. To answer your question it. now, I think social media has tainted a lot of um, what it is that women look for. So right now they're looking for, can I get flued out? You know, they're looking for, um, you know, that whole beautiful life that can play out on screen. I see a yeah. lot. I yeah. see a lot of that. I think that um, it the plus size is, is that you see a lot of more black love, right? You see a lot of more families now that are trying to build, right? But Kinda. you think so? I, I, see, I feel like I see a little bit more like couples, unless they just starting for the ground. I feel yeah, I like you so. see a little bit more of that. But the world is definitely more materialistic. Yeah, um, it's definitely more. What can you bring to the table, but not in a genuine? What can you bring to the table so we can grow? What can you bring to the table so that I can just slow and do me with yeah. my money? That's that that's, attitude that I'm seeing. See now that that is the thing right there. So it's is and uh, I was having this conversation. Uh, well, this this is gonna air like close to that one, but I was having a conversation with my bro and. I don't like using the term, what can you bring to the table? Only because I feel like it's overused, which mm -hmm. I don't. Okay, so I hope I can explain this right. But I, I understand what's meant and I agree with it. But because I hear it so much, I hate using the term. But mm -hmm. that's, you know, but what I'm saying is when you say that, it is so true. Like when they ask, what do you bring to the table? It's not saying, when people ask it nowadays, it's not saying, what do you bring to the table so that we can build and grow from this? They're right. saying, what do you bring to the table so that I can enhance myself or yes, so that I content. can like, okay, so like I can take that and I can do this or I can take that and I can do that. You get what I'm saying? So right. it's like, I, I hate it because it's an overused term, but at the same time, right. when I hear it, it says, what can you bring to me for me to use and utilize? Right. You get what I'm right. saying? Right. So I'm all for like, if uh, I don't need you, I want you. So as mm -hmm. a man, I don't need no woman. I want mm -hmm. a woman. That mm -hmm. means I have standards, right? Yeah. And, and right. you know, I have boundaries. At the same time, um, by me not needing you, when I say, what do you bring to the table? It's not for me to, like, take that and run with it. It's for me mm -hmm. to say, well, can I use that or can I utilize that? Can we mm -hmm. utilize that to make it, you know, a little bit better for the both of us? So, I, I, I'm so glad that you pointed that out. Like when people yeah. say that, it is such, it's from a selfish perspective. Right, and I hate right. That. I hate that. I hate yes. that. What do you bring to the table? And you're not asking me that because you want us to build. You're right. asking me that because you're trying to take what I have. And I, I mean, that's. Right. It's uh, just, so they money can be play money. You know, you hear that a lot. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. So here, let, let me ask you this. So I heard you say now, and you brought up the money thing. So I'm, I'm gonna go with that. So when you say, um, you know, the dude don't have to necessarily, blah blah blah. What is the the female? And this is not just you. That this is generally across the board. Mm -hmm. What what is the 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 generally the generally accepted female? What does she want financially? What is her expectation of a man to have financially? Honestly, most women that from what I've been hearing, they want six figures. Yeah, well, six figures. And I'm just like, that's so interesting to me. Let's go ahead and break that down. Let's see how you come into the table with that. And when in, <laughs> in any time of your your history has your bank account hit six figures. Let you know. I mean, I'm just <laughs> come on now. See that you're gonna be on you're gonna be on the podcast a lot. I'm just telling you. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just I'm I'm trying to be honest and I understand, and people will say that you know, I hear you know, they say what it is that you um what you want, you must first become, right? I don't remember. I heard that I, not too long no, ago. No, I, I agree with that. Right. And so I'm not saying don't aim for that, but but you should not be, let's see, six-figure material. How well is he managing his money? How well is, you know, what's the goals and the visions or the plans that he has to begin to build generational okay. wealth? Don't cut him off because he's not already there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, yeah, yeah. So, so, so this is what I would say. Um, and because this is my experiences. So um, you'll hear you'll hear my brothers. They say I'm like frugal or whatever. Like mm -hmm. I'm put the quotation. And that's just mm -hmm. because I don't spend like they spend. I don't mm -hmm. I don't do stuff like they don't mean I don't have it, but mm -hmm. they don't spend. Now, if you're around me, you know, I can go in whatever store I want and buy whatever I want to buy. But that mm -hmm. don't mean I got to like ball out or I got to put yeah. the rims on my truck. They don't mean all that. With that right. said, I I don't necessarily 
need or want no, nobody for nothing. Like I can take care of myself. I'm not struggling. I'm not living paycheck to paycheck. But like, if I can make enough money to do certain things, like I can take a trip. I can, mm -hmm. me and my girl, we can take a trip on my money. We can do that. Mm -hmm. I have enough money to do that. But mm -hmm. my thing is, as a man, if I'm able to do that, then what, when I say, what do you bring to the table? I'm saying like, are you worth me doing that for you? Because mm -hmm. just like I can do that for you, I can do it for every other person that's in my life. So like, mm -hmm. what makes you so special? Mm -hmm. And it makes it hard when a dude that has that, it's like, um, and, and, and you can, Tell me if I'm wrong or tell me if I'm mm -hmm. true. But it seems to be like most women, they when they say this about the guy, it's like they, they want the guy to be all of this extra, but they don't, they're not anything that's worth the guy spending the money. Like, what makes you unique out of the next three females that I'm going to meet today? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. I got the money to do that, why would I do that with you? And I find myself asking that question because... Mm -hmm. I don't see what makes you so special. Like, you know, mm -hmm. what, what makes you so special? Have you made yourself unique or unique or different? To you? Right. I, right. Have a, I, well, I have a follow up question because my, my question to you would be what would make a woman worth that to you? For me? Yeah. <laughs> for me? Yeah. Okay. So for me, I don't, I don't necessarily, um, <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to ask me that. <laughs> All right, so I need to know this. This is a true, true and honest, honest statement. I, I look for a woman that's not gonna add issues and drama. Uh, yeah, I kind of when I say I'm a loyal man, I am a loyal man. Like I know how to keep my myself to myself and my woman. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not one to have eyes for everybody. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't need the extra added drama. I wake up in the mornings, I deal with myself, and then I be who I need to be for everybody for that day. And I don't need to have a woman who doesn't understand you can't have an attitude for the whole week for no reason. Mm -hmm. You can't just, you know, act like you, you know, you have to understand, like, I have a, so many different circles. So I'm at church, and then I'm at this, or I'm at that, and I have kids, and I have so mm -hmm. many, everything in my life depends on me. So I need you to be able to handle yourself in all circles. You know, right. if we're going out to have fun, I need you to be able to have fun. I need you to be a lot of different things. Then on top of that, so I'm a man and I like to have sex and loyal men want to have sex a lot with their person. Mm -hmm. Otherwise they're cheating on you. I'm not here to cheat. So I'm going to want to, I almost said the word, but <laughs> I'm going to want to do it a lot with my right. person. And I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want it to be an issue because I like to have sex and I'm a man. You're getting all of my attention, you know? So it's like, for me, a woman that, that understands that and then takes care of herself physically. I make myself to look good so that my woman has nice stuff to touch and, you know, I, and, and to know that all of this is just for you and right. I want her to be the same way for me. You know, uh, for me, it's like, I don't know if that sounds, it sounds like a lot. <laughs> no, not at all, but I'm not surprised that you would say that because I'm the I'm that person. I guess when I before I really knew that I was into leadership, I was into like relationship. So I was actually going to school for like marriage and family counseling and things of that sort. So I love to hone in and watch all of the social media videos and things where women and men are talking about what they desire. So when you said, you know, basically, you know, be the peace and bring this, and I wasn't surprised because that's what I hear, you know, men say, you know, a lot that they want someone that's going to add to in a positive way and not take right. away and build upon, you know, the stressors and all of the other juggling that they need to do. How can you lighten the load and add to, you know, the peace and everything that you got going on? So no, it's not, um, it's not too much at all. I think that, that, that takes a, a mature minded person, right? That takes right. a mature minded woman. It takes someone like the younger version of me because I went to school, because I was so successful. I didn't have that understanding of what is it that I need you for. You understand what I'm saying? I right, wasn't right. arrogant. I wasn't a throw it in your face kind of person because right. I've never been there. You know, I've always been a, you know, an humble kind of person. However, I'm not going to play no games with you. So <laughs> right, right. you are not a strong person. I would not know how to bend 
to make a man feel like he's gracious. Perm example, my mom, when she was married, she had cooked a pot roast. No, her husband, I'm sorry. Her husband had cooked the pot roast, right? Okay. And so we had already eaten. And he was away. Um, he was a, a pastor. So he was away doing something with some of his members, right? And so okay. she was like, okay, um, you, are you all not hungry? I was like, no, we're not hungry because, you know, we just ate, right? And so she was like, okay. So she was literally shaving off of the roast and packaging it so he would think that we had eaten some i'm like what are you doing <laughs> i'm like why why just like listen he went in the kitchen and he cooked this meal if we don't eat any of it it's going to hurt his feelings it's going to make him feel like we didn't appreciate it we were i'm like okay you ain't got to do all that just tell him you're right <laughs> she was like let me tell you wisdom just like they say the man is the head the woman is the neck you got to know how to steer things right okay he came in the house and was like oh my god y'all almost didn't leave me in it y'all like this huh i'm gonna have to cook this more i mean you would have thought that the world had lit up if at his feet right and it was because she knew you know what it was that mattered to him. She knew what was important to him. Yeah. And in my mind, I'm like, what? That's playing games. They got to do the plan again. She was like, what is the problem of packaging something, freezing it, later using it for sandwiches or this, that, or the other, whenever we eat it? But for now, you know, and I'm like, okay, well, then, you know, yeah, that's a little subterfuge. I get that. But I didn't understand at the time the wisdom that uh, she, you understand yeah, what I'm right. saying, was trying to use. And that's yeah. what a lot of women don't necessarily have. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Mine yep. was cultivated because I literally asked the Holy Spirit, pull out of me, right? Anything yep. that's not supposed to be the attitude, you know, the power struggles, whatever that looks like, right? Go, go and let me deal with me. And this is what I, uh, my experience was, I started seeing people. The Holy Spirit's yeah. like, you know, what you're right. I'm like, I started seeing a mirror in other people. I'm like, oh, I'm like that? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. And right, so I would right, right. that process, but a lot of women are not necessarily um, willing to go through that process or then they don't understand that when you're married, you're in a relationship, it's for the other person. Right. Mm. So they're thinking about, I know you got all these stresses and I know you're a black man and you deal with this. But I mean, I have stuff that I deal with, too, but for this moment, can you just take the time to see what his world is? And then when I, you I, go I, Step away, God is teaching you. you. He'll allow you, you understand what I'm saying. Oh, I didn't have let's not talk about it right now. Or you want to know the best way to have a discussion with me? You know, this is one of the guys up there. You want to know the best way to have a discussion with me? I'm I need a moment. You don't need a moment. Let's talk about you, you see what I'm saying? Too impatient, right? Right, right. I'm not getting to give right. that moment, knowing that I will get a better result, right? If you just, so, yeah, if you just use your wisdom to, to but in see, my mind, I'm not important. It ain't important to you because right, you know right. You See, but that's the that. that's the immature to me. That's, that's like that's like the immature mindset. So right, you you'll notice like on 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 a lot of those episodes, um, I disagree with a lot of the stuff that uh, my co-host he has his own way of dealing, mm -hmm. and and I have my own way of dealing, and that's not to say neither one is right or wrong. It's just right. different. And I can appreciate and respect his differences because his differences, his gifts, he gets results. But mm -hmm. with me, I, I I don't see. Um, I think, and and you, I want your opinion on this. Um, every person in the Bible, every man, and and I'm not trying to go Bible, right? But mm -hmm. because my profession is what right, I do, just right, yeah. Um, every person that chose a wife, he chose based on what he wanted, you know, and. That's not saying that the woman is supposed to continuously cater to the man because I feel like the man is supposed to love his woman mm -hmm. and like she needs to feel loved. When mm -hmm. I when I see that word love, she needs to feel special and mm -hmm. you need to go to that extent to give her that. You get what I'm saying? Like you need to make sure she feels special in your world continuously. Mm -hmm. So you have to love your woman, love her, make her know and see that she's cared for, that she's loved, that she's special right. in your world. With that said, Every single person, they chose who and what they wanted. And I, there are so many things, and it's not meant to be no Bible study, but the point is, I can choose whoever I want. And Jai is not going to, as long as I'm not choosing somebody like a Delilah with Samson, no. I'm in bounds. And even he, when he chose her, he was still in bounds. My thing is, it's just, I just don't. I think I think that 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 women nowadays have unrealistic expectations. Mm -hmm. In relation, you can't expect um, the dude that you meet 
to basically meet you. You maybe have a kid or two kids, or let, even if you don't have none, and you got an attitude, you stiff necked, you disloyal, but he's supposed to meet you, take you up, put you in his house, all your debt, he's supposed to clear all that. Come on, man. I, I just I just think that's ridiculous. I do. And even if I could do it, like I can afford it. I can afford to look, my house ain't big, but if you come and move with me, you ain't got to do nothing except wake up and be pleasant. But my point is, why would I do that? Why would I invite a person like I'm I have peace at my house? Bring another person here is gonna disrupt that. Mm -hmm. So you understand what I'm saying? I just think it's that, that the expectations on the female side is very much unrealistic all right what, what are your thoughts on it i yeah i i can i can see that i hear a lot of people um i hear a lot of men say that and i and i think that it, it's it's twofold because sometimes um you 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 need that women have that let's deal with this let's get this you know out you know what I'm saying? Let 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 yeah. me you know let's say this. Let's let's work on this. Men is let me be a little bit more methodical through. Let me think through this. <laughs> all right, all right, right. Come back with you. You know, with an answer. And women are just like this doesn't make sense. This is you know we need to get this done. And so what happens is is that the man sees it as an attitude, and the woman sees it as somebody that's not a go getter, that's not passive, that's not the head oh, of his that's not that's taking good that's good it's not that either person is wrong wrong it's just right that they don't understand the effective measures that each person takes to get to that end goal mm -hmm. and because the woman sets the atmosphere and the tone the mature person is gonna seem like she has to take the high road back up allow him to work through it or do like my mom shave some of that road style you mm -hmm. understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. so you know gently steer towards the discussion of what it is that you want to do and it can seem like i'm always the person giving in my needs are not always being met but see that's why um it it, it requires you know the um the, the holy spirit to then allow the man okay i need you to listen this time i need you to go ahead and talk with you know i understand you need a moment but go on deal with that because she may be at the point now where it's always me give 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 yeah, right, right, right. Really seeing it so he's seeing peace he's seeing that she's letting him lead he's seeing that she's not questioning him but don't necessarily understand sometimes the sacrifice it may take yeah. to bottle that up to 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 basically respond to things the way that best works for him when yeah, right. kind of like Ugh. you understand what i'm saying that's yeah, what yeah, you're the person that will handle that so i think men need to also know that sometimes they, that their peace comes at a cost to the yeah. person that with so it has to be that balance i gotta say i agree i understand that i do i do understand that i do i do and and i can i can definitely say i feel you on that you know i i don't think it's just a one-way street i think mm -hmm. i think that the uh that the men should definitely or a man mm -hmm. should definitely um be sacrificial for his person you know right. like um he, he should definitely um make that sacrifice at the same time you know right. listen to your woman i'm you know, my selection process is selective because I want to have a woman that's worth listening to. Right. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. I may not agree with your mind, but I understand how you came to that conclusion. And uh, sometimes I just don't be getting it. Like <laughs> for me, I'm a one plus one equals two type person. No nonsense. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and I need to see some type of logic, even if it's not my logic. I don't need it mm -hmm. to be my logic. Mm -hmm. I just need it to make it make it make yeah. sense. Right. And when it doesn't, how can you expect me to stop my world for a mind that can't even make sense? You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I can be patient, but that patient mm -hmm. has a point where I'm like, I know how you think. I'm not thinking on that, you know, but but, right. but in, your, in response to what you said, though, I do think. For mostly all of the women that I have dealt with in my life, they say the right things at the right times on a lot of those. They are. You, women are very uh intuitive mm -hmm. and sometimes i can be creative but i'm not very intuitive you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so yeah. at that mm -hmm. moment she may say something and, and 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 it took me growing up and getting humble to, to where i can be like okay she might be she might be on the sun and it take me uh um the this word humble because men right. have ego and testosterone but if i can humble myself and just listen sometimes right. the woman to give me 
man, that's the puzzle piece right there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or like, even in my creativity, sometimes mm-hmm. that intuitiveness from the female mm-hmm. is like, okay, that work right there. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I think it goes on both sides to where the man sometimes has to know you need to sacrifice your ego. You need to right. open yourself Absolutely. right now and listen. And at the same time, the woman should be, because I'm big on this. It should never just be one person making all the sacrifices when it comes to us dealing with each other your woman shouldn't have to cater to you 24 7 but mm-hmm. you shouldn't have to cater to your woman's feelings 24 7 either you know yeah, so it's kind of like that I, communication needs to be like the the main vehicle between um between right. between two right. people that's like but that's hard because some people say they know how right. to communicate mm-hmm. but they don't so like if i say this one word if i say um rich mm-hmm. i have an idea of rich in my mm-hmm. mind but when I say that, you have a different idea of rich mm-hmm. in your mind. So we need to communicate so that we can both come to a, what right. we both can see the same right. thing when we say this word. You get what I'm saying? Right. But initially, it's not like that. That's and true. so you have to have so many conversations and another conversation mm-hmm. and another one until y'all start to sink. And that takes time. And like, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. To be honest, nowadays, you don't. People don't, they don't have the patience for what it takes to actually build a real, right. a, relationship. Real, a real relationship. Yeah, I can agree with that. And I think too, if you have someone where, because I, I'll hear a lot of guys say that it's, something's always wrong. Every time you turn around, there's something always wrong. There's a reason for complaining. There's a reason to point out little bitty things. Then that, that's a person that has some unmet need, some unresolved oh. trauma. That's a person that maybe had, you know, had to fend for herself and have, you know, she allowed that to make her cynical, right? She allowed that to make her bitter. A lot of times, like women that um, have been in abusive relationships and they come out on the other end and they say they'll never be a victim again. They don't understand that the, the defenses and the walls that they build, the process that they went through to encourage and love themselves again becomes a turnoff to that man because they don't ever want to seem like they're allowing that person to, in their mind, dominate them versus lead them. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. right, right. And healing and all of those things need to kind of come into play. And I'm going to be honest with you, if you if it's a woman, this is not everyone, but if it's a woman that didn't grow up necessarily in a, like I grew up in a healthy household, but it was right. a single parent household. So therefore, you don't necessarily see the interaction between a man and a woman and what reasoning looks like and what accommodation right. looks like and communication right, and all right, right. So you got to be able to have someone that is that's meek like humble like you said or that just has the holy spirit that will allow the holy spirit to do the work some kind of way to get that person to the stage where um she is you know that the peace and she is able to to you know to receive and listen and know when to speak and be patient and you know all of those things and so it's, it, it takes time and it's definitely a process. And unfortunately, especially with, you know, just the African-American race and the life that they even lived outside of their home, they, you know, I got to be hard. I can't show no weakness, you know, yeah. that kind yeah, of thing yeah. bring that into their relationships. Man, you know what? I- I must say, I, I'm I'm so shocked that, that I have a woman on and I'm actually agreeing with what you're saying. No, <laughs> oh, man. No, because you know what? You know, most of the modern mindset is just, mm-hmm. it's just, it's, it's not, um, it's not necessarily, I don't want to say that word, but I don't know. Cause if my brother was on, he would be like, you know, you can't be saying that. And I'm not trying to offend mm-hmm. nobody, nice. but in reality, so, <clears throat> sometimes it's just, I don't, I don't understand the logic or the train of thought because it just don't make sense. Um, I think, um, um, so, so anyway, okay. So let me, let me ask another question. All right. So when you meet a guy and i see the time right and when you meet a guy um who pays on the first date <laughs> my expectation is that he pays right first day yeah he asks me out right i'm very simple so it could it could just it could have been coffee date i'm not I, that whole debate about who take me to copeland's kind that's like oh my god Ooh. That's, so that's like dumb but in any way um that is my Man. expectation would it be like oh we'll never go again if he's like oh you know um you know, hey, let's spit the bill, whatever. I'm I'm watching to see one. I'm I'm too old for games, so don't right. do don't 
ask me to cover my portion to see if I'm going to get mad or if I'm going to get attitude because to determine whether or not that's a second date. No, 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 oh, no. Oh, yeah, I got you. That's I got saying, you. Don't go that route. You know, yeah, I got you. you. But I, I mean, it is what it is. I'm noting it, right? I am. I'm noting that. Okay, it's like, hmm, that's interesting, you know. Um, typically in my you know mind, I would think that that person, you know, you ask a female out or whatever that they would pay. Now, if we were just having a conversation, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I would love to go there. Oh, okay, let's go. That's to me something different. You understand what I'm saying? But you're if right, you're right. asking me, then yes, I would um I would expect them to pay, but I'm the kind of person I'm real low key, so I'm probably not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> um, that doesn't that would not write you off, right? Um, but you're keeping it like right now. Like, okay, yeah, I'm just kind of watching. Yeah. Right. I'm just kind of watching. You know, I'm just kind of watching, just paying attention. And see, that's what I mean when I would say expectation. Because my guy friend that I was telling you about, most of my female friends were like, oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. You, you giving them another day? Oh, absolutely not, Joyce. You're, you mean to tell me you're not worth a dinner date? But I see things a little differently in, you okay. know, what I'm in that in that regard. So, yes, the expectation would be there. But it would be it would be no problem because if she's you know who's who, who's getting the bill or if he just says two checks I'm like hmm okay interesting no problem you know yeah, right. Out, right. Hey, well, thank you I had a great time thank you so much blah, blah, blah. we'll let we'll right. me get home and right. you know we'll we'll see you know from there I don't think it's a deal breaker but what I wouldn't like is for you if you were doing it to kind of test me don't I don't, I don't have time for that oh I'm yeah just, yeah don't play with yeah. me. don't play with me right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. so for me and it's just me personally I think. That I should pay for for the date. I mean, as that's just that's just my own personal thing. Some mm -hmm. dudes say I'm stupid for saying that. No, I'm like this. I'm paying for the date, so I'm pick where where we going. Now mm -hmm. I have had I this. Agree. So I, I'm going. I, I'm the type of man like this. I'm taking a. I'm gonna ask you on a date. That's just mm -hmm. me. I gotta escalate it, right? And I'm gonna choose where we going because this my money. Mm -hmm. If you don't like where we going, you don't get to choose for me where we going on my dollar mm -hmm. that to me is out of line so inbounds are out of bounds so here's the scenario mm -hmm. i say i look let's go out on a date first date ever okay. i've never seen you in person we met online okay. but let's say i met you once i got your number at a, at a grocery store right. i met mm -hmm. you and beyond that we have just been talking and texting okay or i met you online or let's just say we've only seen each other once but never out Gotcha. I say okay. to you, man, let's go on a date. Okay. Me, first date is not uh what is that? Um uh, whatever Texas, steakhouse. Texas. <laughs> you, we're not going to no steakhouses on no first date, boo. Right. We just not right. doing it. And that's not because I can't afford it. You don't know I'm what my price is like. Right. But bro, what if I don't like you? I'd have just spent a whole hundred. No, no ma'am. If we if I'm gonna do a hundred, this is gonna be second, third date that I know that I like you. Mm -hmm. Okay, now but that first date, bro, we're not doing it. But okay, is this inbounds or out of bounds? I ask you out on the date. I say we going to see the game at Buffalo Wild Wings, or we going to see the game at Dave and Buster's. You say to me, nah, I don't wanna I, I don't know, I don't know what Dave and Buster's is. What is Dave and Buster's? Dave and Buster's is a, is a little spot that everybody go. But no, let's go to such and such. Is that inbounds or out of bounds for the woman to change, mm -hmm. change where where y'all going? Now I haven't said I'm gonna pay. I just asked you out, and then you change the date. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think if she said, "Oh well, no," you know, I always wanted to go such and such. What do you think about going here? That's just dialogue, right? And then you said, right. "Well, no, this is where I, you know, this is where I really want to go." Da, da, da. Then okay, no problem, cool. We're gonna go and have fun. But I think that if that person is, because think about how it saves you problems down the line. Because sometimes women won't say nothing, but they'll stew over something that they didn't like. You understand what I'm saying? But the fact that she was able to say, "Oh, I'm not really to know someone that's a little loud for me. Can we maybe go with X, Y, Z?" You know, that at least lets you know that she's open to what you want. Because you know how you, men say, well, I can't reach your mind kind of thing. Okay. And lets you know that you have someone that will communicate what it is that she likes, what it is that she wants to do. Then your, well, here's what you pay attention to, what her response is to your response. You understand what I'm saying? Then if it's like, okay. well, no, hey, let's just try it out. Come on, you know, I really want to, you know, go see, you know, whatever, whatever. Then after she responds back, that's when you know it's a no-brainer or no deal based on how she says. Or if you say, let's go do Dave and Buster's X, Y, Z. And she was like, well, you know, I really always wanted to go to Fleming's. I heard that they have, that's, you know, 
Yeah, I don't. So I don't know what it's Fleming, Fleming but that, that West Timer, that steakhouse attached to the gallery. <laughs> once I look it up, I'm gonna be like, so, so look, this was my response, right? This was my response because this actually happened, right? Uh -huh. And if, if you're listening, I don't care. But <laughs> the thing is, so this was my response. My response is okay. So I invited you to this place because I was gonna pay. So I'm assuming that since you want to change it, go to this flamboyant place that you're gonna pay for me. She ain't respond. So I'm like, so? I so her response back, the place that she suggested was something that wasn't first date appropriate. Right. Not for me. Okay. Okay. Nah, I was like, okay. okay, so then that means you must be But if it was still out. on the same scale of what you had initially suggested, you would have been okay with it. Yes. Yes. Nothing yes, was wrong me. with that. Nothing was right, wrong. Right. 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 Because look, now if I say, let's go to, I don't know, anywhere, but uh, uh, cheddars and you say chilies okay cool somewhere that's like bro the right. prices is kind of even right. you know what yes. i'm saying but if i'm saying chilies and you saying fogo the child ma'am we we talking two different languages so you might right. need to right. go find you somebody else or be paying for my meal because i'm not gonna pay for it and that's not it's right. not on the strength of me not having the money like oh, did y'all go out did i go out nah nah no nah. nah. once you look First off, don't change my date. And if you do, no. it needs to be respectful. Look, okay, that's respectful. It needs to be respectful. When I say respectful, you need to come on, put it on the same lines. And since she didn't, I was like, gotcha. So you pay for my meal? She, she, I forgot what she said, but I'm like, well, let me just see if this one want to go on a date because I want to go to B Dub today. And she mm -hmm. said, yeah. So, all right, yeah, meet me there at like six. <laughs> yeah, and I think that, and I think that's kind of cool. So, she says she paying for the meal. Be like, well, listen, you know, I always wanted to go out. Um, you know, typically don't really have any other, you know, guy friends. So, I don't have a problem if we go Dutch. I don't have, you know, it's our first date. I know that's a little bit more than where you wanted to go. Are you okay? That's that's wisdom. You understand what I'm saying? That's exactly my point. She you said know, none of that. Yeah. Mm -mm. So she no, was that was like, yeah. Yeah, and she this, was like, nothing like wrong. It. Nothing wrong with her feeling that way either, because there are some men that that's their initial standard. It's what they like. That's where they want to go. And so you know that may have been you know it's it's nothing wrong with that. Even if a guy was the first time said, okay, hey, let's go, you know, out to you know Ruth Chris, you know, and on the first day, I'm kind of like, oh, okay, that's interesting. But I'm also gonna be thinking, okay, so yeah, the Ruth Chris money. What else are you expecting? <laughs> Come on, you know what I'm saying? Come Talking on, bro. Some, some Ruth Chris, because I'm gonna go, and if that's what you, you your feelings will end up being hurt. Right. Yeah, no, my, see, but, off the muscle. Okay, so look, let me say this before I before I say what I'm gonna say. So me, mm -hmm. I'm never looking for that on the first date because if you giving it to me like that, you gave it to ten other niggas before me. So Thank I don't you. want it. It's slop. It's trash. Whatever. Oh, but yeah, <laughs> but okay. But thing is, if if let me say this, if if I'm if I elect. This is first, second date, and I'm taking you to like, chum, ch ch chum, chum, ch I forgot the name of this place, but it's like Fogo the Child mm -hmm. on West Time. Mm -hmm. You better know that I got some condoms in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm paying that, but you gonna be paying for it later. <laughs> no, <I'm just laughs> hey, don't send me no crazy inboxes for that comment, y'all. <laughs> but I mean, let's be real. That is that is the expectation but no, of a know, lot of men. That but is for me, I'm not even gonna do that because I don't want like okay. And I want to hear your opinion. I, I don't. I don't. There is nothing that I want from no female. I take care of myself. I own everything. Everything I have is in my name. I take mm -hmm. care, like I literally. I don't need a woman for anything except companionship. Right. And if it does actually get to that extent to where I'm actually gonna give you my body bruh I, I i must evidently like you a lot but mm -hmm. i'm not i'm not the type to do that like and that's not just because i'm such a different type of person that's because i have a relationship with my job that's you know i call him job my god you know my mm -hmm. religious beliefs whatever so i have a relationship with him but at the same time like i'm just i'm not looking for that so mm -hmm. i'm looking for other things so our first date is gonna be on other things. Our right. conversations is not gonna be on that. Right. Like I know I'm gonna, I know I can please you. I know that I'm I'm sure of that. But like 
after we get done with that, can we have fun mm-hmm. and have a conversation? Like, can I can I trust you if I put some money in your hands or if I ask you, look, this needs to be done. This is a project that I need to be done, but I can't focus on that. Can you handle this project? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, I'm on that. And it's just like, I don't know. Um, Sometimes it's misunderstood. It's I'm not be That's all it is. It's about being considerate because typically when I'm out on a date, my question to you, oh, what are you, this this menu looks good. What are you getting? I'm asking him what he's getting because I'm not going to go over what he's ordering. That's just my thoughts. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm, that's just me. And there have been times where I'm like, oh, because I, I'm a foodie. I love to try different foods. So if I see something that I just want to have, I'm going to say, hey, you know what? Can I have this to go and please bring that on a separate tab? Because that's oh. what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, I'm like, oh, I'm yeah. gonna to tomorrow and order this in my mind. But no, I would never do that because one, I want to make you know make it clear that that you know that whole quid pro quo type thing. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. You know, no, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not doing that. But then that's just me. I'm just you know, you know, considerate in that aspect. To me, that's a good balance, honestly. Yeah, right. I'm just kind of paying attention to and kind of moving how he moves. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, and, and me and my brothers, we have this. So we were raised by our mom, which mm-hmm. goes back to, um, you know, what we were talking about earlier as far as like the, the parent relationship being the first right. relationship. And it actually has a big impact and influence. So, but our mom raised us to be good dudes, but we live in 2024 and females out here is yeah. ridiculous. You hear me like ridiculous. I thank God for good people. So I, I do have good people in my life. Right. And I have kind of slowed down on my dating because I have, um, you know, a person, if she's watching, she knows who she is, but oh. like, you know, it's like, I don't, I don't really do that because I'm really focused on what I want to accomplish, what I want to build. But I, you know, when I do the podcast, my podcast is about dating. My podcast mm-hmm. is about Christians dating. My right. podcast is about like, I want to get like different perspectives as far as, where are we going wrong? So like you say, you see a lot of people like, you know, I don't. I see a lot of people posting for the gram, but it's not, it's not, it's not real. It's like, it's real like that it may be, um, may not be genuine because I've always been that um, person that just takes it at face value. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So it's possible that, you know, it is something that they're doing so they can make sure that their algorithm is keeping up with them and that they're, you know, the likes and their follow. So it's, it's, it's absolutely possible that that's a large part of the motives, but, you know, so because I'm, you know, I don't have rose colored glasses, but right, until right. you tell me otherwise, right, I'm usually going to give you the benefit of the doubt. But I, okay. I, I do think that a lot of, um, yeah, because you you hear over time, most of them don't go the distance. So it's possible that that particular relationship wasn't so much about them, but yeah, them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so exactly, exactly, right. exactly. All right, so look. Man, thank y'all so much for watching, man. Uh, this is just the first half of the conversation. Um, this is part A. You can go ahead and look for part B in the playlist. I guarantee you the conversation gets a lot deeper. So go ahead and find that. Uh, the name of it is the same name, but it's entitled part B. So guys, go and check that out right now.